Well, how do the chums to say, Captain of the Steve? Wearing my slippers today because it's freaking cold. Got some No Man's Sky sort of speculation -y type news. So let's jump into this, shall we? Let's just, just jump straight over to Tinterwebs and uh, get into this. Golio, there we go. So here I am over on the old Tinterwebs. Now, I quite like this article that's been put out there. You can see in this search box just above my head, I've put in Feb. Well, you might not be able to see that. You'd need eagle freaking eyes to see that. Eyes of a hawk, hawk, hawk. But if I just hit return, well, one up, let's go up a level. So in February of 2020, we had the living ship update come into the verse, people, which delivered in the knees new organic -y type living -y ships. Yes, yeah, so you had to get yourself like a void egg and go do a quest line. It was freaking quite cool. It had quite a lot to it. There was a lot of time gates to it, but it's still something that people pick up and hit up and do even now. And there was a lot of NPC encounters, a little bit of lore there. It was pretty darn freaking nice as far as updates go. Now, this was before Expeditions. This was back in 2020, so there wasn't an Expedition that dropped with this one. But then if I hit next, boom, the next one was in February of 2021. And it was the Companions update, which gave us the ability to pet creatures and ride creatures. It gave us taming of creatures and keeping pets and creature breeding. Pretty darn freaking lovely, I guess. I honestly don't think you can really breed the creatures. You don't have to get male or female in this game. They just lay freaking eggs. They all seem to do it. Yeah. Anyways, I added that in. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit further because Expeditions then dropped in March of 2021. And that's when we started seeing Expeditions alongside of key updates. So anyway, uh, next one. Boom. So in February of 2022, we had the Sentinel Pillars added in, people. Heck yes, we did. And along with the Sentinel Pillars, when you went into the Sentinel Pillar to sort of deactivate it, you got these new regal sort of multi-tools, which was quite lovely. And we could also get our own sort of Sentinel sort of Minotaur overhaul and upgrade. And I think they added in the ways and means to do the Traces of Metal sort of mission from this one. I don't know whether they did or didn't add in an expedition with this. So, yeah, we'll have a better look in a moment anyway. But there you go. There's the Royal Multi-Tool that I mentioned earlier. And also the Sentinel Drone Companion. So, yes, perhaps the Traces of Metal got added in then. Anyhow, what's next? Okay, so that was 2022. So 2023, we got the Utopia Speeder. Yeah, class of ship. Well, it's actually it's still actually a fighter. It isn't a new class of ship at all. But yeah, there was also PSVR 2 support added and VR overhaul and the wonders section of the Discoveries catalog would add it in over a year ago. That's freaking mental, isn't it? Well, almost a year, I should say. And that did bring us the Utopia Expedition. There it is right there, people. So we did get an expedition around then, but we did get an expedition in back in 2022 around the same time. But I think it was tied into Outlaws, if memory serves correctly. So, yeah. Anyhow, there we go. So that's all the different updates we've had. I have updated, I've have up opened each of these updates inside of separate tabs. So Living Ship was a fair sized update when you think about the amount of lore that it brought in and also all the organic technologies, even though you still haven't got the equivalent of rockets or positron ejectors, all you've got is phase beams and, and sort of like the posit and, and the photon cannons for this thing, which is a bit of a shame. I think they're missing a trick there. I wish they'd revisit these living ships and put in some more alien weaponry technology, like some little boogers that stick to shields that slowly dissolve them, or acid spit or something, or some sort of home in technology or lock on. I don't know. Anything, anything alien type technology esque that's on par with or better than the actual weaponry that we get inside of our ships right now. Because at the moment, I don't overly use these. You know, at one point, we can even get storage upgrades for these. We can now, which is quite cool with the spewing sacks and things like that. But they still haven't added in extra weaponry technologies for these things as yet, peeps. So, yeah. Oh, well, we also got these anomalies added into the systems, didn't we? Where we could come across those as well, which are quite lovely. And they were all quite 
you know, randomly generated. So there we go. We got that added in, which was pretty darn nice. The sp space encounters with the pulse fishing and all that sort of stuff. So that, that wasn't a bad sized update, to be honest. Companions, I think, was one of the largest ones that kept me busiest for the longest, I should say. Because, yes, going around finding creatures in systems that you could add as pets, doing egg giveaways playing about with the different colorization of the pets, also um, getting all their stats up. Not that they did much, but yeah, they're, they're, it's quite a nice thing to have, but I think they need to bottom it out a bit. There needs to be a little bit more depth added to this. I mean, in here, it does mention that they can destroy hazardous flora. They don't destroy hazardous flora, which is a little bit cack, to be fair. But yeah, anyways, they added that in, so you could add in your own sort of perts, and you could you know, change the colours of them, and all that sort of shenanigans. Even add like little trinkets to them to boost their stats and stuff. And they do talk to you, they interact, you can ride them, so it helps with traversal, so kind of give them mounts. Add in a few extra emojis or emotes as well, which is pretty lovely. So there was, there was quite a lot inside of that. Although it felt quite shallow on the surface, when you actually got into it and you started hunting for these creatures, it did bring a little bit of longevity there. I think this one kept me busy for a good couple of months when it came to creating content and sharing out coordinates and then also doing the egg giveaways. But then, yeah, like I say, there, it could do have a little bit more to it. I still find that that egg creating machine can be a little bit buggy at times and end up duplicating eggs and causing all sorts of manner of problems. But yeah, anyways, there's that. That went in. The Sentinel update added in the Sentinel pillars, the ability to turn off Sentinels in certain systems and so forth and so on, and to make your own AI-friendly drone, which is pretty nice. I like the new multi-tools that it added in. I think they gave us a few extra multi-tool slots when they put this in as well, if I'm not mistaken. They improved the visual effects on the actual multi-tools and also added in a little bit more of the uh, feedback for the haptic feedback in the controllers on PlayStation. Funny enough, they even tweaked the flamethrower the incinerator module even though that's not in game as yet so i still think that could be on the cards one day yeah and then they increase some of the performance and the fidelity and visual qualities around some of this stuff too oh, and they added in the cloaking device which is a very welcomed addition to be honest and i think that we got some different sorts of sentinel types in this one didn't we as well which was pretty darn cool yeah so yeah what's this all about I don't, I don't know why it's, it's mentioned about Exobiology Expedition. Ah, ha, 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 we did get the expedition with the Sentinel update. The Expo, Exobiology Expedition. I forgot about this one. That was quite a fun one, to be honest. Yeah, we got these extra additional bits to stick on our pets as well. So it's a little bit of a nod to last February's ex, um, update, isn't it? With that sort of Exobiology. Ah, that's an interesting one. So I wonder if this February's might give a little bit of a nod back to maybe Sentinel or even the Fractal update. Because the Fractal update brought in the Utopia um, expedition. Now, funny enough, inside of the expedition for Utopia, we ended up, we started the system, the actual expedition, inside of a, a, um, a damaged sort of station. The station in that system had decayed and fallen apart. And then when we done the expedition, we slowly catalogued every planet inside of that system. And then after the actual expedition end and you converted your save to a normal save, if you went back to that system, the system of backing, rather than the system being all decayed and dilapidated and broken and abandoned, it was a functional, fully functional station. And considering that the new sort of trailer that we've had for No Man's Sky is the new stations, interior, exterior, and this new type of ship. And when we completed the Utopia one, we actually got given a new type of ship, the actual speeder. And these new ships look like speeders. Is it a continuation of the Utopia expedition and last February's update? Could it be that we fix up abandoned stations and they turn into these new type of stations and as they do so we get offered a new speeder just like the utopia speeder but you know obviously slightly different and maybe it's got some sort of variation to each of the different systems are we going to be able to fix up abandoned stations is what i'm wondering in a similar sort of sense that we did with utopia 
Are we going to have to fill up our Wonders catalogue, considering the Wonders catalogue has still got some empty sort of slots there and the map just doesn't work on them? I think that might be a bit of a clue as to what might be happening inside of February, people. Sound off in the comments! Let us know. Do you think that has got legs? Could we be doing more with the abandoned stations to make them our new home? Because that's even a thing when you fly into abandoned stations on the screen of your actual ship. It says, welcome home. Could it be that we have to catalogue the system, bring it back into life, and when we do, as a reward, we get offered a ship of some kind? That could add a bit of replayability. That could add a little bit of depth. That could encourage people to do a bit more exploration. And bring systems that are abandoned back into functionality. Restoring the actual galaxy back to working methodologies. I quite like that idea, in fact, people. That... That could be what this update's going to be. Let us know in the comments if you think that I might be onto something there. Because these ships do look very much like the ship that we saw inside of that trailer, people. Like it. Anyway, jump back over to me for a bit there, peeps. So you know what? I'll tell you what, I'll just put up that trailer for a second. Just the last bit of the ship flying out of the old station. Because yes, if we are going to get station overhauls, it would make sense. And they were also called Station Type B inside the game files, which makes you think they might leave Station Type A in there, A and B. I mean, B is a progression from A. And how do you do it? And how do you apply it? It would make sense to do it just to the abandoned stations. It might not be every single station that gets a facelift, people. Hmm interesting yeah let us know what you think people and if you've liked this video if it has stirred up a little bit of thought provoking stuff in your old gray matter hit that subscribe and like buttons because i love to do that i also like to make people smile and um if it's done that again hit that subscribe button because that's what i do here i guess until next time people you've all been freaking awesome i've been captain steve until next time salute to mondo goodbye goodbye and goodbye again